Nicole, she has a very bubbly personality. She is a very happy person. She does not meet a stranger. I remember when she was younger, she would go up to people and just start talking to them. She still does that. I'm, I'm really fun and I like to make people laugh. That's like my main reason and just to make people smile, that makes my day, <laughs> really. Sherry and Nicole have a very strong connection. They're always together. Sherry is not only Nicole's mother, she is also her nurse at Polly's Pediatric and Adult Medicine. So Nicole is one of our patients here at Polly's Peds and Adult Medicine. Uh, she's been coming here for almost five years. The clinic is in Polly's Island, a primary care facility 70 miles north of Charleston. Probably about two years ago, she uh, started getting involved in the telepsych program for her diagnosis of ADHD and um, mood disorder. It was terrible. ADHD is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and it is a disorder where the uh, child or the adult cannot focus well. Uh, with Nicole, we have the hyperactivity part, so she is hyper along with not being able to focus well. I did, I did, thank you. Signed it and I gave her a copy of it. Once every couple of months, Nicole connects through video to a psychiatrist at the Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston. I feel really confident, especially because of my generation. We already seen a lot of the new technology and stuff. As Nicole's primary care doctor at the clinic, Dr. Hazeltine is able to write the medication prescribed remotely by the psychiatrist and manage it locally. We actually see a, a significant amount of improvement to that, uh, mainly because uh, these were subspecialty services that we don't have in the local area. Um, so for example, it's hard for me to find a psychiatrist locally just because there are very few around and those who are um, don't always treat children as well, like uh, our teenagers like Nicole. So it's very important to have somebody who's readily available and, and yet at the same time, uh, once you make those referrals, it's difficult for family and people to make that distance in traveling to MUSC. Uh, because we are about two hours away. It's very beneficial because number one, I have to put in a two week notice at my job to be able to go uh, to a, a doctor's appointment. So, you know, that's, you know, two weeks that I'm looking out, um, you know, to try to get an appointment. And then on top of that, that's a two hour drive. So if I have something that I can utilize here in the office versus having to take a full day off of work is uh, a lot easier on my pocket. In Merle's Inlet, 10 miles north of Polly's Island, Nicole psychologist sees the impact of telehealth on her patients. In this part of South Carolina, there's a, a shortage for psychiatrists. We work with about three or four, specifically in private practice, um, that are overwhelmed and they're amazing psychiatrists, of course, but the need is, is greater than they can, you know, supply. But with telehealth, it helps so, so much around here because if someone is balanced you know, equally with their medications, then it's a lot easier for us to provide our, our therapy. This collaborative model in which mental health services are brought to the primary care clinic allows patients like Nicole to receive quality care within their local communities. I think we have seen some improvement in Nicole. I think she's uh, much more stable, uh, much more focused at this point. Um, her medications have been adjusted uh, in a ways that I wouldn't have felt comfortable adjusting them, and so we're seeing improvements from that, that standpoint. It's been a great program um, to help her and myself. Um, you know, we both learn a lot, me being the nurse in the situation and her being the patient. So, you know, I can be the mom and the nurse and along with Hazeltine, Dr. Hazeltine's help and our psychiatrist and the psychologist. So all of those really help. 